so today I will be making a tutorial on this blend and it's um one of Bella Thorne. Hold on. This. Yeah, it's the first assignment for Team Slurpee as you can see. And yeah, let's get started. You're gonna need about seven pictures. So open your canvas to whatever size you want. So I already have it to 500 by 500. And you're gonna make a background just like this. Just like that. So you're gonna need two pictures. So I'll be using some of Cher Lloyd. And yeah, so hold down shift to make a perfect square. And you can bring it to your next picture. And you're gonna unlock them both. They could be high quality or not, um, it doesn't really matter. So you're just gonna drag them both over. And resize them by Control T. And yeah. And you can do the same to the other picture. Okay. Wait, I just used that one, I think. Yeah, yeah. They're all, <laughs> they're all the same to me. It doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use this one. And you resize it again. And control T. Click this thing. And... I kind of wanted to make it about the same size. And then you're going to want to merge them by doing it like this. Or however you want to make your background, so I'll be back when my background is done. Okay, so now I have my background done, and then you're going to duplicate it by Control J. And you're going to saturate it by using Control Shift U. And then you're going to go to Filter, um, Blur, and Motion Blur. And you can use as much as you want. I put it on a 12 or 11, so I'll do 11 for this one. And then you're going to go to any of these that makes it look good. So. I think hard light looks best on mine. So yeah, and then now you're gonna just make the circles. You can use a color from like the artist's um, outfit. So I'll use the light pink or whatever. So I'll just choose the color. Oh, it's white. So I'll use the necklace. So I'll use the gold. And then you're just gonna make a circle. Um, this is how I usually do it. Um, uh, well, you can do however you wanna do it, like your preference. So you make the circle by holding shift to make it perfect. And then you gotta do control shift I. Then you gotta go to the um both of them. So you can like merge them or something, but I don't. And then you're just gonna click control X. Hold on. Yeah, okay, I got it wrong. So um make sure the black and white thing is um you know invisible and then you gotta click control X. Whoops. I duplicate it and then do control X. So to make a circle. And then you make it smaller. Actually no, you're supposed to add the um designs and stuff. So yeah. Go to blending options. Do do. Go to drop shadow. You can pick your color. And then you gotta click bevel and emboss. And you can do however you like it. So that's how to look on, and yeah. And then you're gonna bring that under. And you're gonna duplicate, you're gonna make the duplicate of this, the circle. So control J, and then you're gonna get black and white. Control shift U, and then you're gonna make it small. And on the first one, you're supposed to turn it, I totally forgot that too. So yeah. So you hold shift to turn it right away, just seems to look like one. And add the other way. You can merge them, so. And then now, I'm gonna add a PNG. So cut one out, and yeah, I'll be back um, when my PNG is done. Okay, so now I have my PNG, and I'm gonna duplicate it. So Control J. And the under one, you're gonna desaturate, so Control Shift U. Then you're gonna go to Filter, Blur, and I think it was Gossinger or Motion Blur, so we'll see. Yeah, it wasn't this one, so I appreciate it was much blur. So, option. And you're gonna put it as much as you want. So I'll do 15 or 16. Or 17. Okay. And you're gonna go to the right about um, 
every time she's like, so that was like about four or five. So you're gonna want to make a shadow. So that's good. And you can merge them, but I don't really care. And then I'll leave the resources, but not the whole blend. So you gotta bring this brush over. So. And to change the color, oh, it's gonna be under the PNGs. To change the color, it can do use Control U. So Control. And you hit Colorize. And. And next, you're gonna make the film strip. So you're gonna bring the film strip over. And you're gonna put it to the left. And then you're gonna add the four pictures. So, yeah. Okay, so now I have my four pictures up here. And you're gonna use the rectangle marquee tool. And you're gonna make a rectangle. And you're gonna bring it all to the four of the pictures. And place it. And then bring it back over. And I'm gonna use that part. And then you're gonna. Go over to your last picture, and yeah. And then now you're gonna just bring them over and resize it. So I'll just show you the first one. So yeah, it's gonna be under the film strip, and it can be above the pages. So you're gonna resize them, Control T, and yeah, mine might be a little big, so yeah, you can always like erase it, and you can turn it over. Okay, so mine's a little big, and I'm just gonna use the eraser tool to erase. Oh. And you can do it for the rest of the sections. So I have all the pictures in, and you can just merge them all. So, And then you're gonna go to here, and I'm just, you're gonna have to go here because you can't. And all you have left is the text and, PNG, uh, and the PSD. So I'll just bring this one over and change the color. And I'll find a PSD that I'll go with. Control Q to color. And I'll be back with the PSD and the finished product. Okay, so this is my finished product. I added two PSDs to make it look like this. And I hope you like it. So yeah, this was the first assignment for Team Slurpee and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And yeah, bye!